Well, as we head into the final weekend before Hanukkah next week and Christmas next weekend, you may be looking for some festive weekend fun and Rob Gard with Destination Madison is here with a few suggestions. So we'll start with this Saturday because you can have breakfast with Santa. Pancakes and PJs. How about it? Over at the Edgewater. So the Edgewater, of course, goes all in on uh, the holiday season with yeah. the ice rink is up and active. Uh, in fact, actually tonight the Grinch is there if you have some spontaneity oh. going on and uh, have some time to get over there. But, but this weekend, breakfast with uh, Santa, pancakes, PJs, uh, ice skating, just kind of enjoying this great winter uh, scenery that we yeah, have right. all of a sudden. Now after, right, it's beautiful. You want to get out. And the ice rink, you, you just go online to make your reservation. Right, and you can rent skates there. You don't okay. need to have, have any. So. And they have some carolers, I think, doing for a Friday night thing too, right? Like they'll come in and they, they, for they a happy have, hour? Yeah, they have a lot of stuff yeah. going on throughout uh, throughout the holiday season. So check, uh, check out the Edgewater's website for details. The Holiday Express Flower and Model Train yes. Show is back at Old Brick for the rest of the month. Yes, and this is yeah through uh, New Year's Eve. And it's a really cool way to look at, uh, I don't know, flowers and poinsettias and uh, through the eyes of like a little miniature uh, train scene that they have going on. So um, I believe this year's theme is kind of a carnival uh, cool. experience. And yeah, it's just a fun way to experience the great garden we have at the Ulbrich but indoors in the warmth. I have this on my to-do list because I've actually never been for this event. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think it would be great. It's fun, it's really cute to see. Okay, that's indoors so you can be kind of warm. If You're you want to bundle up, the zoo lights are up at Henry Vilas Zoo. And they, I've, I've seen them, I've been in, but you can see them you know, from pretty far and yes. they are amazing. So that is happening again throughout the holiday season made even better with our snowfall so you yes. can look at the zoo's website and, and find some times to go there and enjoy some times with the kids and get some adult beverages if you feel like warming up. I saw that and unlimited carousel rides so you get to do that uh -huh. and see Santa so we my husband and I we just got our tickets for our kids so we're gonna be doing that. Finally the CTM performance of a Christmas Carol and Rob I told you we took our sons last weekend six and eight even the six-year-old held his attention and I was impressed with the acting. It was well done. I've heard that from a number of people. Mm -hmm. Tickets are still available. And it's a great holiday classic, of course. But to see it live and to kind of get swept up in the spirit, so to speak, mm -hmm. of Christmas uh, is a great way to head into the end of the holiday season. So, yeah, it's at the Capitol Theater over in the Overture Center. So the historic theater, perfect spot for this historic uh, Christmas story. And not a bad seat in there. I no, mean, it's, it's no. small enough that I feel like wherever you sit, you're going to have a good experience. Yes, yes. It, great sound, great sight lines. You'll have a fantastic time. Loved it. So get your tickets. Rob, thank you, and happy thank holidays. You. Happy holidays to you, Lee.